Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for being here today. Before we get into this reading vlog, let's do a joke. Do you know what the worst part about PC RAM is? No, I don't. I'm not gonna put you through that. Let me find a new one. Why does a flamingo lift up one leg? <laughs> because if it lifted up both legs, it would fall over. <laughs> you have it that's fun i threw it right in front of me good one um hello everyone welcome back to my channel thanks so much for being here today today's video is just gonna be a cute little weekend vlog that's it i'm in the mood and i mean what else are you gonna do what else could i do this weekend aside from sit at home and read and maybe film a youtube video um but yeah i'm gonna do a reading vlog today, and so I'm gonna show you what I plan on reading. The first one is Act Your Age, Eve Brown. I've already started this one. I'm on chapter five, and I am really enjoying it. Eve Brown, you know what, Chloe, Chloe was really funny too. So I don't wanna say that Eve is the funniest one yet because I, we've only just met her, but Eve is very cute and very clever and quick. So far, really liking this. Would love to finish this by the end of the weekend. So there we go. And then I have two books that I am choosing from. The first one is The X Talk and the second one is The Four Winds. Essentially, I could either make this a romance vlog or a Noella's crying on camera again vlog. <laughs> Just depends on my mood. Um, actually, that's not true. It's not dependent on my mood. I put a poll up on Instagram to vote on, okay, this fucking bird. Hold on. <laughs> and I put this poll up on Instagram and the last time I checked it, The Four Winds was just barely reading. And so let's see where we're at right now. <laughs> oh dear. Um, wow, it is a close one. We have 1,001 votes for The X Talk and then 1,060 for The Four Winds. So The Four Winds is winning, but only just barely. <laughs> so I think that takes it as a sign that I should just really just focus on reading Act Your Age, Eve Brown. And then once the votes keep rolling in, I will decide on the second book. Um, in any case, it's 5 p.m. on Friday, which means my weekend has begun. And clearly so is Parker's because he is snoring up a storm back there. Um, anyway, I'm gonna read some of this for the next hour or so. And then usually my boyfriend and I will order food <laughs> like on a Friday or a Saturday night, but he's gonna be working on his car all night and um, he has to go pick up a part from his parents' house for that. So um, I won't really be seeing him much tonight, so instead I'm probably gonna order myself Indian food and just read a shit ton, and I genuinely can't wait. I have updated my reading playlist a little bit. I've added a few new songs, so um, I'm really loving it. My reading playlist is down in the description bar, by the way. Um, anyway, I'm gonna stop procrastinating and I'm going to get to reading and then I'll order some Indian food and check in with you on the status of this book. But there we have it, my friends. I hope you like this reading vlog. Here we go. Okay, this is not sponsored by DoorDash, but I thought it'd be fun to kind of order this together. You can see in my recent searches that I might be going through a health kick with smoothies, but don't be deceived. We have <laughs> bagels, Indian food, Chinese, Mountain Mikes, and Red Robins. So, you know, anyway, uh, we're going to go to Naan and Curry because that's my favorite Indian spot in South Bay. So click on Naan and Curry. And then we have like an order again section, which let's just make it easy on ourselves. I'm getting the butter chicken with Naan and rice. And then I'm kind of feeling some samosas. So I'm going to do some samosas as well. That's what I'm going to order. It's just for me. So this will do. Oh my God, I thought my address was on here. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna pay for this now, but I thought I would just show you. Non and Curry in Santa Clara. Eat there or be square. Okay, last thing. Look at how cute his little paws look. Wow. He always rests his little head on the little armrest and his
his little paw. Oh, he does not like when you touch his hands, but his hands, his paws. Anyway, you sleeping good? Not when mom bugs you. All right, my food just got here. And I'm using my cute little bee bowl. Isn't it cute? My stepmom gave it to me. All right, we have the wonderful, the intriguing Parker. All right, in this bag, I think I'll be samosas. He doesn't get human food, so I don't know what he's doing right now. If I got a last meal, it would be my mom's Thanksgiving with a side of this Indian food. <laughs> this is a religious experience for me. Okay, I'm gonna let you go. And I'm just gonna keep eating as I keep reading. This is a cute fucking book. I'll actually be shocked if I don't finish it by tonight because of how much I'm loving it. <laughs> and it hasn't gotten steamy yet, but it's one of those like really satisfying buildups where like you know that steam is coming. And so there's like these kind of like, they don't want to be attracted to each other, but they clearly are. And so they're like noticing little things about each other that are attractive. So I'm feeling the buildup right now. So I know when things start rolling, literally rolling, I'm going to be stoked. So anyway, huh? talk to you later. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday morning and I'm trying the new, what is this, something, um, it looks like garlic. What is this? Brown sugar, oat milk thing. Everyone loves it. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. I really don't like it. I even put some more of my own creamer into it when I got home and I think it sucks. I don't know. It's just like, it's weirdly bitter and almost like sour for like a drink that's supposed to be brown sugar and super sweet. I don't know. I don't like it. And I'm going to keep drinking it because I didn't pay like five fifty for it to not finish it. Um, anyway, let's check in about Act Your Age, Eve Brown. Dare I say this is going to be a five out of five by the time I'm done with it. I don't want to make any promises because obviously I'm only halfway done, but... I am very attached to these characters. Like I was doing the dishes this morning and I was just like wondering what the characters were up to. <laughs> and I think that's a sure sign of a five out of five. So um, obviously we'll see, okay. Obviously we'll see how it all comes together in the end, but I am fucking loving it. I will say this one thing, uh, it's not a spoiler, but there's like a moment with like a pond at night and there's like moonlight on the waves and there's like ducks in the pond. And it's like a really silly scene, but the way that Talia Hibbert like described it was so romantic. Like I literally felt like I was in a cartoon of like, like a princess cartoon movie. You know what I mean? So anyway, fucking loving this so far. I'm gonna go do this ride and then I'll check in with you later. See ya. Sorry that Parker is snoring so loud. Let's see if I can pet him. Oh, there it is, bud. Happy Saturday, my friends. Woo woo woo. Oh my God, that was steamy, bitch. Oh my God. Oh my. Oh my God, they're flirting. Oh my God, they're flirting. Oh my God. Oh my God, 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 oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. Nothing's even happened yet. And it's steamy, bitch. What? I told you, 
the buildup of this book, the flirtation, the allusions to things happening. Talia Hibbert is doing that, <laughs> okay? Wow, uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how this won't be a five out of five, okay? All right, I'm gonna keep eating. Talk to you later. So to hit a quick pause on the incredible <laughs> rating vlog you're watching right now, <laughs> if I do say so myself, let's talk about Squarespace. So you all know I've been working with Squarespace for the last couple of months, and it's been really, really fun. But I know that when I first started working with Squarespace, I wasn't sure what I even wanted my website to be about, because there's so many options. And so actually, if you scroll down, scroll down, they have this really cool like landing page called Create a Website, where you can look at portfolio portfolios, blogs, online stores, personal and CV templates, creative services, events and weddings, and small businesses. So you just click on one, I'm gonna go for blog, and you look through all their templates. And it's amazing, super organized, so many different looks and feels, and I just, I think it's the best. If any of that sounds interesting, you can head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Noelle Gallagher, all caps, to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thanks so much, Squarespace, for sponsoring this video. Like you expect something to happen at the end and then something else happens and it's so cute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the Evie <laughs> the east the eviest the easiest five out of five. Oh my god, I fucking loved it. <sighs> oh, Highly recommend. It comes out March 9th, I believe. So maybe by the time this vlog is up, I think it's already been out. So yeah, loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. And now let's check the poll for the other two books. Ah, it is 5.30 on, what day is it? 5.30 on Saturday. All right, here is the poll. I don't know if it's showing. 3,500 votes for X Talk and 3,900 for the four wins. So I'm going to read the four wins. So I'm gonna start this and then in another reading vlog, I maybe I'll read the X Talk. I want to read this by the end of March. So if you wanna see that, let me know. But um, until that vlog, I'm gonna read the four wins. This is a big bitch of a book. Um, let's see, it is over 400 pages long. Oh, I, I'm gonna fucking love this book. I just read the first paragraph and I'm gonna fucking love this book. Okay, all right, I'm gonna go now. Goodbye, angels. Good morning, everyone. Sorry, not the morning, it's 2 p.m. on Sunday. And I woke up at like nine and then, what did I do? I did something. Um, I did read a little bit of The Four Winds. I don't know how far I am because I've been listening to the audiobook sometimes and then reading it physically other times, but I'm a little ways in and I'm really enjoying the story. It feels very, it feels like outlawed, but better. <laughs> um, so, you know, there's like a main character who has been like put down her whole life by her family and, um, I don't want to spoil anything, but I'm really, really enjoying it. I think it will make me cry, <laughs> so can't wait for that. Um, but I'm only just getting started. So read some of that this morning and then um, did my makeup and got ready for a live show with the Late Night Book Club with Elias and Joel. And we talked about Grown and we all had very different opinions, but we seemed to agree on a lot of things. So we rated it differently, but we agreed on like the way the novel played out and like the structure of the novel, which was really great. Oh, I also filmed a favorites video, which I'm hoping to post tomorrow. 
Parker is moving around. Anyway, I am going to put in the audiobook again for the four winds and just listen to it for a little bit while I clean up. Like it's a Sunday, so I want to make sure that the house feels clean and organized. So I'm going to put the audiobook in, listen to it. I'll check in with you after I've done some cleaning. Check in later, my friends. Woo! Hello, everyone. It's me again, and I have my yogurt. It's coconut Greek yogurt with some Nature Valley dark chocolate protein granola stuff. Anyway, uh, it's 5 p.m. and I listened to some more of the Four Winds and it is picking up speed. It wasn't even really slow in the beginning, like I was interested the whole time, uh, but there was a lot of buildup and then something happened and now the story is really moving and grooving and it seems like it's mainly about a really tough relationship between mother and daughter. So we're gonna see where that goes. Um, I just finished editing my favorites video and now I'm going to make the thumbnail while it's uploading to YouTube. That's what I was gonna say. Uh, so I always do this. I export the whole thing and then I start uploading it. This is the TBR, this is not the favorites video favorites um and then i edit and i edit all my thumbnails on canva if you've never used canva canva before it's also where i make all my school presentations so i really enjoy it applications first i do a little something in photoshop and then once i edit the first part of it on in photoshop then i bring it into Canva, which is where I add my text. And I really like my text and like the color layering that I do. And I've been doing it for like three years now. <laughs> I like found my font and I was like, this is my font. I'm never going to change it. And now that I've been doing it for three years, I'm like, should you change it? Like you've been doing it for a really long time now. But anyway, I'm going to go edit this thing. Just the thumbnail, really. But that's my little update. Just having a day, you know? But very excited to just spend hours reading The Four Winds tonight. Very, very excited for that, which is why I'm antsy to finish this. So I'm gonna turn you off and then listen to some Giveon, probably. I'm in the mood, so there you go. Or Bruno's new song, really good. Okay, bye. I'm having my last slice of birthday cake on Megara, my Hercules plate. And I'm, I don't know what chapter this is. Something, something, I don't know. I'm on page 226 and I've, <laughs> I started tearing up, I'm not gonna lie. Not fully crying, but there's a pretty emotional spot with a goodbye and it hurt my heart. So I'm gonna keep eating my ice cream cake while I keep reading this little beauty. And yeah. All right, friends, it is uh, Sunday night at 10 p.m. I'm on page 273. So over halfway done, really, really liking it. The winds have changed. If you catch my drift. Just something fun has happened, like something nice has happened, which is great because this book has been pretty sad most of the time um, or anxiety inducing. So anyway, I'm going to go to bed now. We're watching an episode of The Great British Baking Show, season three, episode six, Pastry. So I don't know if you know that one, but uh, it's, <laughs> it's pretty okay. Um, yeah, I'll check in with you all tomorrow. So check in later. See ya. Good night. You mock my pain!
Never do it again. <laughs> Name that movie. <laughs> Hello everyone, from me and Baymax, and Parker's also over there, but he's not interested in what I'm doing. Anyway, hi everyone. It is Monday at 5 p.m., which means I'm off the clock. I'm off work now, and my first order of business is to finish this book. I, let's see, I'm on page 315. The book is, come on, no spoilers, 454 pages. So what is that, like 130 pages left, right? Math, <laughs> I don't know. 40, 3, 140 pages, I don't know. I have this much left, woo! And uh, that is the first order of business, is to finish this book. I'm just gonna plug in for the next like hour, two hours and just get to the finish line. And then after that, I'm gonna have dinner. And then after that, I'm gonna do some reading for school. And that's what I wanted to update you on, really. It was a, it was a fine day at work. I had one meeting, some emailing, some podcast editing for work, all the things. Parker is licking the couch. I don't know if you can see this, but he loves to just lick the couch, okay? He's, there it is, Parker. Hey, hey you. Anyway, I'm gonna go now and I'm gonna read this. It's going to be finished by the end of today and then I have to do school reading. <laughs> it's gonna be super fun. I can't wait. And I, I booked a very exciting hair appointment for Friday. Um, that's just a random fact. I just wanted to tell you that my hair is gonna look slightly different next week. So that's exciting. It doesn't really matter right now, but anyway, I have to go. Cause I have to go cry now. See you around. You never face this way. So this looks interesting, right? That's our TV with way too much art around it. <laughs> All right. Dried chocolate checks and a mug. Parker, chill out. Um, I've got my reading snack. I've got a, like a gallon of water next to me. Hello. Ow, I messed up my shoulder or something fierce today. And now it's time. Crack the neck, crack the knuckles, and um, time to read this little bitty. Hope it goes well. Okay, well, finished it. <sighs> that was so sad, but also so intense. Like, I'd say the last like third had me on the edge of my seat and like went by super fast. That was so sad. Okay. Hi everyone, it's me and I'm here to film an outro clip because I realized I, <laughs> the one that I filmed was so terrible that I need to remedy that right now. Let's go over what I read in this reading vlog. The first one, actor A.G. Brown, I already spoiled my rating. I gave it a five out of five. I thought it was excellent. So sweet, so steamy and just adorable. It's my favorite of the three books and I will definitely be reading this when I need to pick me up. So really liked it and it was super romantic. The second book I read in this reading vlog was The Four Winds, which <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you what I rated it, but I think the last clip you saw was me crying. And usually when a book makes me cry, it means I thought it was really great. <laughs> so I will explain more of how I really felt about it um, or how I truly felt about it at the end of March in my March wrap up, but I'm really glad I read this one. I'm really glad it, re it won that Instagram poll that I put up because it was a really, really great story. And I feel like it was a great distraction from like being stuck inside. So really liked it. And then the final book I finished 
during that three-day period of reading Vlogness was Roxana by Daniel Defoe, although I don't know if I really talked about it at all in the reading vlog, so I don't really know I'm recapping it for you here now, um, but I did finish it by the end of the Monday that I was filming on, so <laughs> I'm gonna count it as one of the things I read for this reading vlog. Anyway, uh, so that, those are the three books that I read in this reading vlog. I hope you had fun watching it. Let me know what you'd like to see in the next reading vlog. Um, I do want to vlog this upcoming weekend because I'm doing a really cool hair change and I'm also, it's like St. Patrick's Day weekend-ish. Um, I know that St. Patrick's Day is, is technically next Wednesday, but I'm gonna be doing some like Irish reading this weekend. So I'm gonna film that, uh, but let me know what you'd like to see. And I hope this video was fun to watch and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.